it's Jenny from Homestead Corner. Today I'm doing a freezer clean out. We have got chickens being processed. At the end of the week we're going to be doing that. So I need to get my freezer cleaned out and defrosted because it's all frosty and I've never had frost like this before. My freezer is probably about 10 years old and I haven't defrosted it for probably five years which is not good but it's not super frosty so you can see there's some frost but not too horribly bad um, so we are going to I'm gonna take you through what we're taking out of the freezer and what are we gonna do with all this stuff so let me turn the camera around and I'll show you okay so we have about probably 40 pounds of split chicken breasts in the freezer I bought this to can it but it's been so stinking hot that I just couldn't get to it but now I've got to get that freezer done we're supposed to have some rain tomorrow and it's been getting down into the 60s so tomorrow night I'm going to be canning this so we're defrosting it today and this is all split chicken breasts on the bone and this is double duty for me I got this for 89 cents a pound so I buy as much as I can get when it goes on sale like that because not only am I getting the chicken breasts out of here I also have the bone so we'll be making bone broth as well to put in the pantry so this is double duty I absolutely love to buy it like this I just have to remove the chicken the meat from the bone and I'll can the breast pieces and the tenderloin and then um, I will boil everything else down for bone broth so this is works really well I have a couple packages here that I got a while ago when I get these the end of March chicken was kind of scarce and I paid like a dollar 49 a pound but there wasn't much chicken at the store so I really felt like I needed to buy that at this time all these packages were recently um, they're let's see they're they're good until August 2nd anyway but they've been in the freezer for a few weeks um, let's see and the next thing we have over here is I've got a couple things of Brussels sprouts that I cannot fit in my upstairs freezer so these I'm just going to be cooking these down we'll roast them off or throw them on the campfire and saute them up or we'll do something with them I'm not really sure we're just going to eat these and then while I've got the canner out any meat that you're canning is going to can at the same pressure and the same time. So I'm going to can this corned beef as well while I'm doing the chicken. I'll just throw it in whatever in the second pot or something, wherever there's room. We'll toss that in there. And then I also have about eight cups of blackberries left from last year. Those were our 2019 berries and it's almost berry season again. So I'm going to take these and we're going to make some um, like pie filling with them. I'll just put them in small pint jars and uh, we'll whip up some blackberry pie filling because my kids love like turnovers and things like that. So if we have small jars of pie filling in the pantry, then we're going to use those up in turnovers and stuff, especially with fall coming. Uh, we do a lot more baking in the fall. It's just too stinking hot right now. I don't want to cook. You know, I could live off sandwiches and salad in the summer, but you know, my family won't do that, but I wish it would. And uh, we go through tons and tons of this um, chicken. And I do have over here, I've got two packages and these are of just boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Um, these I will can up as well. Um, I'll probably do most of this just plain chicken and then I might do some with like taco seasoning or something just to mix it up a little bit so we can have quick chicken tacos or something like that and um, so we just try to mix it up a little bit and I wait and do my soups and stews in the fall because we will have more sales on meat prices around Labor Day. Um, barbecue meats, things that they think you're going to put on the barbecue will go on sale around Labor Day. So um, I'll be able to get that freezer restocked with some extra meats. And we have other meats, but 
everything that could fit in the upstairs freezer is in there and everything else is here because I have to get it defrosted so this stuff is going to get canned and preserved and that's what we're going to do with it. So the freezer is cleaned out, the meat is thawing, and the next couple days I'll be canning all this chicken um, and uh, corned beef and the berries and everything else is in the freezer and I guess I'm eating some Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Um, but that's most of it for the last of last year's vegetables and stuff like that. So our garden is just starting to kick off. We're just getting a few handfuls of green beans right now and zucchini. Those are like the only two things right now. And uh, peppers are coming on pretty good and the tomatoes are coming on good, but the tomatoes are nowhere near ready. Um, so, and we've got lettuce and radishes and things like that for salads, but um, we haven't gotten any cucumbers yet. And, but, so we are making room for this year's harvest, getting all this stuff canned. And now is a great time. If you haven't cleaned out your freezer, it's always a good idea in the summertime to go through your freezer. If you've got a bunch of defrost in there, definitely defrost it if you can. Um, so, but summertime is great because in the next couple of weeks, cannon's really going to kick off and freezing food and harvesting everything and preserving it. We'll be drying stuff. I mean, it, it gets crazy here in the next couple of weeks. So, um, so that's what we're going to be doing and we'll have plenty of meat in our food storage for our preps and we love canned chicken so I can lots of it a couple times a year I try to do 50 or 60 pounds so I'll just can up everything that's here and then you know next time it's on sale I will grab it and if it's cool enough I can it right away but if it's too hot like the middle of the summer usually I chuck it in the freezer and then when it cools down and I have some extra time I can it up then so that is it for this video if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!